As a seller, you may have been in your home for 40, 45, 50 years. There are lots of memories in their sentimentality. Some people have removed themselves from that and it's just about the money. You may have had a job opportunity and only lived in the home for a few years and decided to take advantage of that opportunity. With all of those scenarios, I am comfortable. You may have inherited the home from your parents. We will be strong and proactive listeners as to your experience and your connection to the property. We want to hear about that because there's a story to be told to the buyers. There are many buyers who aspire to have the type of experiences that you may have had at the home. Above and beyond that, we're also talking about positioning. And this is also where um, empathy comes into play, that even if somebody is emotionally tied to their property, as we are preparing it, marketing it, listing it, and ultimately successfully selling it, we now have to look at the home as a product. And how does that product get placed in the marketplace? Who are your target market buyers? Where are they looking within that price point? And how do you directly compare to other homes that have come up recently or that may be coming on at the same time? We can't control all of those elements. What we can control is the preparation tasks that we undertake, what are, is our budget, figuring out where, where do we think we're get, going to get the most return on your money with that investment. Some of the returns from the preparation of a property are so astronomical. If I were to share with you what those percentages may be, you might think that I'm a liar. It can be one of the most significant, if not the most significant short-term investment of your life with the type of return that, that our clients are getting on the properties. And that can even be you know, in a market that happens to be softer for quite an extended period of time for in excess of a nine year period of time. We've had significant appreciation of properties here in this general area. Now, as we are um, have been in COVID um, and shelter in place to varying degrees, the market has um, fluctuated a little bit, as has the stock market. The stock market here um, and for, for the bellwether companies is actually very, very robust, um, surprisingly so to many people. If you talk about Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, um, they're all doing extremely well. And, and companies like that, software companies, are driving this marketplace. So there will be fluctuations, but when it comes to how we're going to get your home sold and get you the highest price, there is a method to the madness um, that I undertake and that I oversee personally on your behalf to be the most successful. People ask questions about timing of the market and we can talk about historical times and what seasons um, come and go, um, what changes we've seen. The times are, are quite interesting, more interesting um, than some people would like um, with all that's going on in the world right now. Um, but we're always as well equipped as anybody to perform on a high level. So regardless of your circumstances, it's important that you be able to communicate those with me and with my team, that we hear you and that we come to a meeting of the mind so that you understand what the process is for preparing, marketing, and selling your home at the highest price. And that's an opportunity that we look forward to.